Hey, welcome to Next Corner. I'm Nick. We're in my corner. Today, we're going to talk Tana French's The Witch Elf. This was my first Tana French book, and it might be my last, unfortunately. This book was very underwhelming for me with no clear path of a storyline. It felt a lot like fumbling around in the dark until you find the light switch. Uh, needless to say, I was disappointed, so let's talk about this a little bit. We follow Toby, who feels he has a lot of luck within himself, until one day he gets beaten by some home invaders, and Toby soon moves in with his older dying uncle, who uh, he's taken care of until everything blows over. But soon they find a skull in the Witch Elmo back, and... There starts an entire investigation that borderlines on harassment at some points to me. Um, the local police come in and start to search their way around the house and yard and through a tree to find out what happened to this missing person. And it is exciting stuff. I was expecting more from the novel, as the novel says it's her best one yet. I truly thought I was in for a treat when I picked it up, however I was sorely let down page after page. The first start part of the book, like the first hundred pages, is like pulling teeth. I found it quite hard to get through it, but it was a book club book so I persevered and I made it. I already broke one of my goals for the year, which is... DNF a book if you're not enjoying it. And I pushed through this one because I'm a trooper. And also, I was like, I'm not going to DNF a book that I'm running a book club for. So I did it. And at the end of the day, I just I didn't like it, unfortunately. Um, the only thing I really liked about it was Tana French's writing. Her style of writing was amazing to read. I really enjoyed the words she put down on page. I did not like the story she put down on page. I did not care for the character building they did because I found it to be somewhat shallow and yet deep in another sense because there is also an underlying story with the story. And um, I just... I felt so not happy with it, so I'm giving it two stars. It was going to get a one star, but two stars is what it is, I think. And as for recommendations, I don't think I would even recommend this book to anyone, unless they're looking for a super slow burn that just fizzles out at the end. And unfortunately, this is my book review for it. I'm not too pleased with it. I did not care much for the story or the characters. I couldn't connect to anyone. I found when we got to the end and the story came out to being what it was, it was sort of like, uh, really? This is it? This is how it ends? And it was just like, throw your hands up in the air with disappointment because that is how I felt about this book. I hope that that's not a turnoff for some of you. Because if someone loves Tana French and you think that there is a Tana French book out there, her very best one, I want you to put it in the comment below and I want you to tell me what it is and why I should read it. Because if it is good and the reason why I should read it, I will pick it up and try it out just for you. But however, uh, as it stands, unless someone does that, I probably won't be reading any more Tana French. Unfortunately. Anyway guys, thank you for coming to the corner. I have my Pet Cemetery book club and my Witcher book club up in the links below, ready to go. Come and join us. It's going to be a blast. We're going to do some uh, getting into Pet Cemetery. We have a really great crowd in there right now. Everyone is super excited to start reading it, and we have a lot of people who are longtime King fans who know quite a bit about stuff of his, and uh, it's going to be a fun discussion. And as for The Witcher, we already have 11 people signed up for a book club that's not starting until March 1st. So if you want to join us, 
uh, put your name on a list at a library to get The Witcher, go and buy the books, come and join us. It's going to be a blast. We would love to have you along for the ride. If you've already read the books, you're more than welcome to join just to have some conversation about it as we go along. So don't be afraid to join up if you've already read these books as well, because it's a great conversation. Anyway, guys, I have had a blast with you today. Thank you for coming to the corner, and we'll see you next time. Bye.